cell the basic unit of life if we say the planet the earth there are so many different kinds of organisms living together so all these organisms are coexisting living together and interacting with each other we see a great diversity in this animal and plant kingdom so on this earth we know that huge plants like giant redwood tree giant sequoia tree and even we see pine trees such a huge and big trees and at the same time we observe very tiny phytoplankton means small plants that live in water so we can see the variations differences in their size and shape but even though they all plants and perform photosynthesis and and have same basic functions and even if you see the animals we see huge creatures like a small microorganism or a small zooplankton very small animal cules in the water and we see the very big animal that is the blue whale living in the same water we see the huge land animals like elephants giraffes and different different animals so there is a huge variety of living things living on this planet so some a uh, long long ago some 350 years ago when the microscopes were not discovered people only knew about the animals that are seen to eyes so whatever the animals and plants that they are they were able to see with their naked eyes so they considered only those were the living things existing on the planet on the planet but later by the discovery of microscopes people came to know about the living world that is existing along with them which is not visible to the naked eye so there were some great scientists who made the possibility of identifying these microscopic organisms by their special instruments called microscopes now let us see the names of some people who made contributions uh, to find out the microorganisms or the microbial world so here is a list of few scientists who made their contributions in observing the microbial world with the help of microscopes so they were the ethan cs kircher and jan swimmerdam anthony van leeuwenhoek and robert hooke so among these four you might have heard the names anthony van leeuwenhoek and robert hooke who were very famous for their observations of microorganisms with their powerful handmade microscopes anthony van leeuwenhoek he observed so many living things and living cells with his microscope uh, of course he was the first human to see the living cells under a microscope he made different power lenses hand grown lenses and he used the lenses in his microscope to observe the living cells to observe the blood protozoa yeast and bacteria and other organisms under his microscope even he observed the water from different sources like pond water to study the life in them he observed so many living and non living objects also which are very small and not seen to a naked eye under his powerful microscopes and he made a recording of his observations we learned that cell perform different functions we also learned that every living organism is made up of a basic unit called as cell so the cell it performs different processes life processes like respiration and uh, it uh, excretion different kinds of life activities are performed by a cell but how do we study the cell how do we study the structures of a cell how can we observe it to study a cell or a single celled organism microorganism we need some equipment so that is nothing but a microscope so microscope is a device which is fitted with glass lenses 
which will enable us to magnify the tiny things like microorganisms or cells of plants and animals so by that we can observe the internal structure of the cells we can study different parts of a cell with the help of microscope so in this lesson we are going to uh, study the parts of a microscope how to use a microscope and at the same time to observe the cells of plant or animal we need to prepare a mount a slide of that plant or animal cells so in this chapter we learn how to prepare a slide of a plant tissue or plant cells or animal cells and how to make it ready to observe under the microscope